Hello, my name is Winnie Barawa. Welcome to our session on types of healthcare plans. If you've been following in our class, we've been discussing uh, specifically on healthcare planning, and you've checked on the introduction part, introduced the concepts, and then we looked at the healthcare cycle, the healthcare planning cycle, and we have just concluded on the challenges that can actually uh, come about when you're handling healthcare planning. So let's check on the types of healthcare plans and its different features. So the healthcare plans are actually categorized based on time, whereby we have the three major types, that is long-term plans, medium-term plans, and the short-term plans. The long-term plans are very long in the sense that they are covering at least a period of 10 years and above, and most of the time these are treated as policy directions. For the medium-term plans, they are strategic plans and they cover a period of at least three to five years. While the short-term plans, these ones are treated as operational plans and they cover a period of one year and below. So let's go deep and see how each plan has in terms of features and their description. Starting with the long-term plan, which is a policy document that we've seen takes a very long period of time, at least 10 years. So characteristic by period description, these plans takes 10 years and above, and most of the time they are driven by political description or atmosphere and the desire to promote common good for the population. So they define policy imperatives. They also desire results that are defined by impact indicators, and they mostly are um, generally defined and the budgets are not clearly stipulated. So for example, in different countries, they have long-term plans that span years. Other people have 20 or 50 year uh, policy plans that are guiding their economy. But in most of these cases, the budget for these particular plans are not defined. The only driving goal is to see the impact that the policy might bring if it has been implemented to the latter. So they are long-term big dreams but it's mostly driven by the political leadership that is in place in the particular countries. So the second plan is the medium term plan, also that we call strategic plan. What the medium term plan does is it is covering a period of at least three to five years and it is guided by the policy plans. The policy plans here we are referring to the long-term plan that is guided by the political leadership that is in place. The policies here that we're talking about also could be international or just regional declarations. For example, you can have a national policy in given countries, but you can also have international policies that are guided at the con congresses such as World Health Organization or the United Nations. So with these plans, they define strategies that will be important for implementing in the policy imperative. So what happens is uh, the desired results are either more of impact or outcome desired. So in such a case that the plans are strategic and you're looking into specific impact that you feel the policy might bring. So how we implement our medium term plans, we implement them based on the strategies that are in place. For example, if you're targeting to reduce uh, death rate in a given country by 10%, then our medium-term plans will specifically highlight which strategies and activities the country will do to reduce the particular stated deaths. So mostly, um, the medium-term plans will need required resources and the gaps that are existing will have been identified. So the medium-term plans are strategic. They have identified the resources that they will need in ensuring that they achieve these plans, and the gaps are clearly indicated. So most of the time, the medium-term plans, we refer to them as the strategic plans. And lastly, we have the short-term plans, also known as the operational plans. So these plans are short-term in the sense that they occur in a period of one year or less than one year. They are guided and driven by the medium-term plans, what we form with short writers, MTA, MTPs. So the MTPs, they will bring out now the implementation guidelines. And in this, we defined interventions and activities for the purpose of ensuring that the medium-term uh, strategies have been, have been achieved. 
So for example, if you're looking into reducing death rate in a given country by a certain percentage, let's say 10% in this case, you need to specifically now bring down the short-term plan in terms of which type of deaths are we looking at. If you're looking at maternal death, for example, then which specific maternal death or cause is promoting these mortalities? For example, in, uh, in medical field, we have these policies that are put in place to help in reducing maternal mortality due to postpartum hemorrhages. Now, when you want to fulfill the medium-term plan of reducing maternal death due to postpartum hemorrhage, as a healthcare planner coming up with a short-term plan, your plan will be to develop guidelines in managing postpartum hemorrhage so that we reduce the maternal death as an outcome. So what happens is the results are defined by the output and the process indicators and implementations will be based on the activities. Usually we do all these based on the available resources or the available activities that can actually bring our implementation into fruition. So we've mentioned three major uh, plans. That is the long-term plan, which covers at least 10 years and above. We've mentioned medium-term plans that covers a period of at least three years to five years. And then we have the short-term plan, also known as operational plan, that can be achieved in a period of one year or below. Thank you for being part of our class and you enjoy our classes. You can subscribe, comment, share, and like this video, or you can comment which, com which content you like us to share most on. Thank you so much for staying with us to the end and bye-bye to our next class.